Okay, so I pretty much got her little head done. I'm now going to be working on the top of her head. So instead of making a really deep scissor line like you would for a poodle, I like to again use my thinning shears. And I'm going to lift it a little bit. Unfortunately, you're not supposed to comb with your equipment. And I'm going to use my thinning shears. The tips are a little bit stiff, but I don't have replacements to send these away for sharpening yet. The flood really does the number to you. Anyways, can you see that? Watch. Can you come to the front of the dog? See how that just softens it up up there? I don't have that sharp line. Do the same to this side. I'm holding the ear because, you know, they're going to twitch them, right? And these little thinning shears can sure give you a good little pinch. So, can you see that? Okay. Now when I do the top of the head, I like to comb everything forward, like the poodle. Shake, shake, shake. Now I'm just going to, you can see the little bit that I need to round out. She's kind of holding her head a little crooked today because I think her ears are bothering her. And you're such a good girl, Lulu. You just want to flip your little head around, don't you? girl. So, there's a little round head for everyone. Okay? Good girl. Okay.